Okay, to kind of bring it all back together. Um, we have said often here at Project Access, um, and I believe uh, this is another thing that uh, Susan Hawkins has brought up with you. We've got to be mindful. We've, are we keeping the end in mind as we're writing our goals now? So be mindful of what you hope to achieve with this goal in the student's big picture dream, in the student's and the family's aspirations for that child. What is this goal going to do? How is it relevant? Remember R and SMART, how is it relevant um, to that student's um, lifelong aspirations? Be mindful of how. How are you going to plan, uh, how do you plan to achieve this goal? How are you going to teach this specific skill? And then that will translate into how you're going to collect data from that for your goal. Be mindful of why. Why is the goal meaningful in the student's life? Why is it meaningful for that particular student? Why is it meaningful in the context of the curriculum? Why is it meaningful in the context of your classroom? Right? And be mindful of where. Where do you hope the student can perform this goal? And that will help you be more clear in defining the skill and clear in measuring those outcomes. Is this something you hope the child can perform when he's in your classroom or when he's in the hallway with his peers? Right? Is this something you hope will generalize that they can perform when they're at home or at a community outing? Right? Um, so keeping that finish line in mind as you're at the beginning and writing that initial goal. The what, the why, the how, and the where.